हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेवियर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू लर्न सम जनरल इक्वेशन ऑफ ऑनलाइन इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अबाउट द इक्वेशन फॉर्म दैट इज हियर ए एक्स प्लस बी वाई प्लस सी दैट वन इक्वल टू जीरो वेयर ए बी सी आर द रियल नंबर्स ओके एंड एट लीस्ट वन ऑफ ए एंड बी इज नॉन जीरो You know that. So here, this equation, that means a x plus b y plus c equal to zero, is called the general equation of the first degree with the variable x and y. Okay, I hope it's clear. Now, here in this video, we are going to learn how to reduce the general equation in the another form. So here, number one, the first form is y equal to m x plus c. Okay, that means here uh, we are going to reduce the general equation a x plus b y plus c that equal equal to zero to the form of y equal to m x plus c. Okay, so first you write down this equation a x plus b y plus c equal to zero. Now here b y equal to minus a x minus c. That imply you can write down y equal to Minus a x by b and minus c by b. Okay, so now if you compare this one with y equal to m x plus c, then here m equal to minus a by b. That means the slope of the line, and here c small c equal to minus c by b. Okay, so that means here the slope of the line equal to minus coefficient of x by coefficient of What coefficient of y? Because a b is the coefficient of x and y respectively, and here y intercept equal to minus constant term divided by coefficient of y. So that is the reduce. Okay, so that is the rule to reduce the general equation to the slope intercept form. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. So here the next one to reduce the general equation. to the intercept form okay what to the intercept form so as here you know ax plus by plus c that one equal to 0 so you can write down this equation as ax plus by that one equal to minus c clear so if c not equal to 0 then you can divide it each and every term by minus c so here ax minus c Plus b y minus c and that one equal to one. So that imply you can write down x by minus c by a here y by minus c by b that one equal to one. Okay, and which is the required intercept form because here you know that x by a plus y by b that one equal to one. So it means here a equal to minus c by a and small b equal to Minus c by b. Okay, that means here x intercept equal to minus constant term by the coefficient of x and y intercept equal to minus constant term by the coefficient of y. So now here the third one and third one here to reduce the general equation a x plus b y plus c that one equal to zero to the normal form and here the normal form you know that here x cos alpha plus y Sine alpha that one equal to p. Now here, if you want to reduce the general equation in the normal form, there will be two cases. Case number one, okay. Case one. First one, when c is positive, okay. When c is positive. So here the required normal form here, it's a by root over capital A square plus b square x minus b by root over Again, a square plus b square y, and that one equal to c by root over a square plus b square. Okay, that means here cos alpha equal to minus a by root over a square plus b square, and sine alpha equal to minus b by root over a square plus b square, and p equal to c by a square plus b square root over. Now, case two. Here, case two. When c is negative, so here c is positive and here c is negative. When c is negative, then that one equal to 
a by root over a square plus b square then plus b by root over a square plus b square and that one equal to sorry y here x also and that is going to minus c by root over a square plus b square okay i hope it's clear now the next part here the next part that is the intersection of two straight line okay intersection intersection of two straight lines so suppose here first one a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 that is one equal to 0 is the first straight line and a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 that one equal to 0 is the second straight line okay and here the condition and here the condition of two lines to be coincident okay so here the first condition that line two lines are coincident so write down here coincident if here the first condition is a1 by a2 that one equal to b1 by b2 and that one equal to here c1 by c2 next one if two lines are parallel to each other okay if two lines are parallel to each other if here a1 by a2 that one equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2 and here the third condition that is two lines are intersecting each other two lines are intersecting so if sorry this one is if here a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 okay so these are the three condition for the intersection of two straight lines now here's the another one if these two straight lines are perpendicular to each other then you can write down a1 a2 plus b1 b2 that one equal to 0 that is the condition for the perpendicular so now here i am going to solve the exercise problems that is 11.7 so here some number 1 1 write the equation of the line through origin origin means here 0 0 and parallel to the lines here 4x minus 7y plus 13 that one equal to 0 so as here the given equation is 4x minus 7y plus 13 equal to 0 so first you have to find out the slope of that line and here the formula to find out the slope that is minus coefficient of x and here it's 4 and then divided by coefficient of y that is minus 7 so it will be 4 by 7 okay now you know the slope of two parallel lines are equal so here the required parallel lines that is y minus y1 that means here y minus 0 then here slope that means 4 by 7 and then next here x minus x1 that one equal to also 0 so here 7y that equal to 4x so that imply you can write down 7y minus 4x that one equal to 0 or you can write down 4x minus 7y that one equal to 0 that is the first answer now move on to the next one number 2 in number 2 write the equation of the line through the origin again 0 0 and here perpendicular to the line that is 5x minus 3y plus 17 that one equal to 0 so first you to find out the slope slope here minus coefficient of x then minus y so here uh, it's 5 by 3 now the now the slope the slope of the required line okay the slope of the required line that one equal to minus 1 by m that means here minus it's 3 by 5 so here y minus 0 that into sorry that one equal to minus 3 by 5 here x minus 0 so here 5y that one equal to minus 3x that imply you can write down here 3x plus 5y that one equal to 0 now sum number 2 is as same as sum number 1 here uh, in sum number 1 you have 0 0 and here in sum number 2 you have minus 2 3 so in the place of y minus 0 write down y plus 2 and x minus 0 write down x minus 3 for the first one and for the second one here y minus 0 you can write down y minus 1 
and in the place of x minus 0 you can write down x plus 2 okay now sum number 3 1 if the line here the first one 2x plus 3y plus 5 that one equal to 0 and next one here 3x minus ky plus 11 that one equal to 0 then find the value of k so as here these two lines are parallel so first you have to find out the slope of this one here minus 2 by 3 second one here the slope m2 equal to minus 3 by minus k that means here 3 by k and as these two lines are parallel that means m1 is equal to m2 so here minus 2 by 3 that one equal to here 3 by k that imply you can write down here minus 2k equal to 9 so that means k equal to minus 9 by 2 as your answer next number 3 2 if the line 3x minus 7y plus 13 that one equal to 0 and here kx plus 2y minus 5 that one equal to 0 are perpendicular to each other so here m equal to minus 3 by minus 7 it's m1 so 3 by 7 and here m2 equal to minus k by 2 and here these two lines are parallel sorry these two lines are perpendicular to each other that means here m1 into m2 that one equal to minus 1 okay so 3 by 7 into here minus k by 2 that one equal to minus 1 so minus 3k that one equal to minus 14 that means here k equal to 14 by 3 as your answer now next sum number 4 if the image of a point so here minus 1 2 in the line here 4x plus 3y minus p that one equal to 0 is the point here 3 5 okay then find the value of op so suppose this one here the p point and this one here the q point okay and here q is the image of p and the joining line that is pq so here definitely this line will be the right bisector of this one so you can write down this one as 4x plus 3y minus p equal to 0 the equation of this line and here uh, the distance of these two will be equal so as here q is the image of p that means the distance of this one is equal to this one so definitely that point is the midpoint okay that point is the midpoint of p and q so first you have to find out the midpoint here so here the midpoint coordinate that is minus 1 plus 3 by 2 and here 2 plus 5 by 2 so that one equal to here uh, 2 by 2 comma 7 by 2 that means here 1 comma 7 by 2 is the coordinate of the midpoint and this point lie on this straight line so in the place of x you can write down 1 and the place of y you can write down 7 by 2 that one equal to p so here 4 plus 21 by 2 that one equal to p so here 8 plus 21 by 2 that one equal to p that means p here uh, 29 by 2 okay so the value of p equal to 29 by 2 now let's move on to the next problem that is sum number 5 1 so here find the angle which the line root 3 x plus y plus 5 that one equal to 0 okay so you can write down this line here y equal to minus root 3x minus 5 okay with the positive direction of x axis now here y equal to mx plus c you know that so here uh, if you compare this equation then here you will get y m equal to minus root 3 and as you know that m equal to tan theta that means here tan theta equal to minus root 3 okay so as here tan theta equal to minus root 3 then definitely theta equal to 120 degree because tan 120 degree that equal to minus root 3 now next one number 2 the next part so here in the next part find the area of the triangle whose side is along the lines x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 and here 4x plus 5y that one equal to 20 so as here x equal to 0 so you can write down this one 4 into 0 plus 5y that one equal to 20 so y equal to here 4 
and as y equal to 0 so you can write down 4 into x plus 5 into 0 that one equal to 20 so here x equal to 5 okay so that means if you draw the line here this point equal to 0 0 and that one suppose here it's 5 comma 0 and that one here 4 comma 0 sorry 0 comma 4 okay so here this one is the straight line so if you want to find out the area of this triangle so here the area of this triangle area of the triangle that one equal to half into here base means 5 and height here 4 so it's 10 square units so now some number 6 write the coordinate of the ortho center of the triangles whose vertices are 0 0 6 0 and 0 10 okay so what is the meaning of ortho center ortho center means the intersecting point of three altitudes of a triangle but here in case of right angle triangle always remember that as these two lines are perpendicular with each other then they definitely the third altitude passing through the point 00, zero that means the origin you can see it clearly so here in case of right angle triangle here the coordinate coordinate of ortho center that one equal to origin okay that means 00, zero. now sum number 7 that is the last sum for this video so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel so here find the coordinate of the circum center remember that find the coordinate of the circum center of the triangle whose sides lie along the lines here x equal to 0 y equal to 0 and here 3 x plus 2 y that one equal to 12 so this one you can write down if you divide it by 12 it becomes x by 4 plus y by 6 that one equal to 1 that means when x equal to 0, y equal to 6, when y equal to 0, then x equal to 4. So here the three coordinates are first one 0, 0, second one here uh, 0, 6 and third one here 4, 0. Okay, third one here 4, 0. Now, so definitely this one will be a right angle triangle and for right angle triangle, the circum center. Okay, the circum center is the midpoint of the hypotenuse is the midpoint of the hypotenuse so now you have to find out the midpoint so here the midpoint equal to here 4 plus 0 by 2 and next year 0 plus 6 by 2 so that will equal to 2 comma 3 so here the answer is 2 comma 3 